Hi there. We're going to talk about Lesson 84, Algebraic Terms. Now, don't let that word scare you, Algebraic Terms. It's not that scary. Algebraic Terms are polynomials that have variables with them most of the time. We call them polynomials. And normally they contain one, two, or three, or more terms. Okay? That term is something like 4x or 2x squared plus 2. Those are two terms. Let's get some examples into your notes so that you know what polynomials are. Now, I'm going to make a chart here, so I want you to put this chart in your notes. There are three parts to the chart. <clears throat> there is the type of polynomial, there's the number of terms in the polynomial, and then there's an example for you to look at. Okay? So, a monomial. Notice I put a little one here next to it because that means one. Mono means one. One term. One term. And if you notice, there's just one term here. Negative 4x. That's it. That's a term binomial means two, okay, and therefore there are two terms, and here's a term, and here's a term, r squared minus 3s, two terms, but you can't guess the next one, <sighs> yes, that's it, a trinomial, tri means three, okay, three terms, and here are the three terms, here's a term, Here's a term. There's a term. Now notice this 5 does not have an x with it. It doesn't have any kind of a variable with it, but it's still a term. It doesn't have to have a variable to be a term. Okay. Terms usually have a number and sometimes a variable. Okay. And here's some examples. Terms can look like this. This is a term. This is the number part of that term. This is the variable part of that term. Here's another term. It's just the number four. And all there is is the number. Here's another term, single term. Okay, right here. The number with that term is 17. The variable is x4, x to the fourth times a. And you will be asked to define, you will be given terms and then you'll have to split them into numbers and variables. So this is a good thing to have in your notes so that you have something to look back at. Okay, now I want to talk a little bit about like terms. When you say something is like, that means those two people are like. They're like. That means they're the same. Okay. So, if you have something that has like terms, that means that their variable parts are the same. So, if you had two sisters and they wore shirts that were identical, they would have like shirts, okay? So, when you're coming to terms, when you deal with math terms, then you're looking at variables that are the same. So, for instance, the term 2x squared has a number 2 and a variable x squared. And the number 3x squared has a number 3, but guess what? The variable, the variable parts are the same. So because the variable parts are the same, we can actually add those together. It's like saying we have 2 apples squared and 3 apples squared. They're still all apples squared. So then you would have 5 apples squared. And so that's how you can combine them. Now, let me give you a word of warning. You cannot combine apples cubed with apples squared. It's not the same thing. You have to stay with the same power. So if it's apples squared and apples squared, you can do it. If it's apples squared and apples cubed, you cannot combine them. Okay? All right, here's another one to take a look at. We have 4AB squared plus 2AB squared. Here's a term, here's its number, and there's its variable. Here's a term, there's its number, and there its variable. Ah, look at these, they're exactly the same. This is apple banana squared, and this is apple banana squared. 
and we happen to have six apple banana squared. You can't have an apple banana cubed and you can't have an apple squared banana cubed. You can't add those together, okay? They have to be exactly the same with exactly the same letters and exactly the same powers or they can't be combined when you're adding and subtracting. Okay, so this ends up to be six apple banana squared or AB squared. All right, now we wanna talk a little bit about degrees of polynomial and it doesn't have anything to do with the weather. Even though the weather today is very nice and sunny, uh, I'm not talking about those kinds of degrees. The degree of a polynomial is the highest degree or power Degree and power both kind of are the same thing in this particular situation. The degree of a polynomial is the highest degree or power of any term in the polynomial. Term, remember, we talked about terms up here, okay, that 2AB squared is a term, okay? So, a polynomial, degree of a polynomial is the highest degree or power of any term in the hot polynomial. So let's look at some polynomials. We have 7x to the second. I'm going to circle these powers. 4x to the fifth. 2x, and that's always considered to the first. If there's no number there, you're going to consider it to the first. And 9 doesn't have any variables, so it really isn't even in the running. Now we look at the three degrees. Uh, degree 2, degree 5, degree 1. 5 is the biggest degree. So the degree of this particular polynomial is 5 because the highest power of any of the terms is that x to the fifth power. It is the highest. So that's its degree. Okay, we have another one here. We have 2x, and of course we consider that the first degree. 4x to the fourth power. 7x to the ninth power. And then we have 2. You know, technically, I'm going to tell you this, and I hope it doesn't confuse you. But here, this is really x to the 0 power, and this is also x to the 0 power. Because we know that any number at all to the 0 power is 1. So this is really just saying 9 times 1, and this is saying 2 times 1. So going back to the power, the highest power, we've got a power 1, 4, 9, and 0. 9 is the highest power, so the degree of this polynomial is 9. Let's take a look at the next one. We have 7x to the negative 4, there's the power there. 7x to the 4th, there's the power there. And 7x to the 5th. Go back and look at the powers. We've got a negative 4 and a 4. Well, that's definitely not the largest. And the 4 is not the largest. The 5 is the largest, so the degree of this polynomial is 5. Okay, I could have a negative 17 on there and it would not be the highest degree because it's negative. Okay, so in this case, the bigger the number, the bigger the power, the better off you are. Positive direction. Okay, we have this last one here we're going to look at. And we're going to go to the next page. We have 3x and we'll assume this is to the first. 2 doesn't have, or you could say it's x to the 0, right? because we know that 2x to the 0 is 2 times 1, which is 2. And then we have 2x again to the first. Well, this is the first, this is 0, this is the first. So the degree of this polynomial is just 1. Okay. Now remember, you do not add these up to get the degree. You simply look at the powers, and you find the biggest power, the biggest positive power if possible. If there's all negative, then you'd have to find the biggest negative power, <coughs> which incidentally would look like the smallest negative power because it would be, yeah, well, anyway. Anyway, sorry about that. Uh, so this would be a degree of one. Oh, I love to try to confuse you guys. I hope I didn't confuse you with that last little bit. Okay, now when we're writing polynomials, there's a certain way that math teachers like to have students write them. It is called arranging terms. And generally, math teachers are pretty, pretty specific about this and they all feel about the same way. We generally arrange terms in a polynomial in order by degree, largest to smallest. So, for instance, if we had a polynomial that looked like this, 
that's probably not the way a math teacher would like to see it. Math teachers would probably go, no, we need to have this one first. So we'd have 2x to the fourth plus, and then we've got this x squared here, negative 7x squared, plus we've got a 6x here, plus 2. And if we wanted to put x to the 0, we could. We don't need to, but you need to remember that that is 2 to the x to the 0 power. Okay, so that's the way you would be expected to write it. And if you look, it does match what I've written earlier down here. And that's important. It's important that you know that the teachers are going to be looking for that. Okay, so here is another one. We have 6x to the negative 1 plus 3x plus negative 2x to the 4th plus negative 2. Well, none of these can be combined because they all have different exponential powers. So, what's the biggest degree here? I would say it's this 4. So, we go negative 2x to the 4th power plus... Okay, the next power is here because that's to the 1st. So, 3x to the 1st power plus, and then we have 6x to the negative 1. He's actually the smallest power, plus negative 2. Now, I put the negative 2 over here by itself because it didn't have a variable, um, and this one does have a variable, so I put it over here. Technically, if you put that as negative 2x to 0 power, he'd probably fit right in here, but we're going to leave the negative 2 off by himself and put all these all these that have variables together. Okay? And there we go. That's the way I wrote it. That's the way I had it written previously. Okay. Well, I hope that was helpful. It is a little bit new for you guys, so I hope it doesn't get too confusing. Practice it a few times, ask lots of questions in class, and have a great day.